Ugh, it's so dirty. Okay, hi guys, welcome back to The Average. Today I'm going to be doing a sketchbook tour because I have finished this sketchbook finally. If you're new to my channel, then you probably don't know, but for these sketchbooks, I got them from Lidl. They're super cheap and I don't think I'll find them again because if anybody knows what Lidl, Lidl, I don't know how to pronounce it, is, it's basically like this cheap grocery shop and yeah, they have these rotations of things that they sell and sometimes they have art supplies and sometimes they have different stuff, but I got these kind of fake mole skinny stuff and they have like 120 pages in them. So I split up half, <laughs> doing half the sketchbook tour in another video. And my other one is about the horror comic. So it was all stuff that I did for my horror comic. That is not in shot. And I've got that sketchbook tour on another video, which I will link up here. And if you want to see more of that, then go check out that video. You guys have probably all seen it anyway because it's all part of um, the horror comic vlogs, so I don't know if any of, if you've watched that. <laughs> if you have, then yeah. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can see better. Makes more sense, doesn't it? Um, so let's just skip all this stuff. This is the old stuff, so you will see all this in the other video if you care to watch it. So let's flick to the halfway point where I was like, just finished my horror comic and a bit like, what? do I do now because you know when you work on something so solidly for a few months then it afterwards it's like um what do I draw now so I think I was just going through a little bit of art blog but not really because I was just still enjoying what I was doing but these pages that are to come you'll be you'll see a difference from this stuff where I was just heavily drawing on a particular subject for a while so whatever, I just drew different leaves, trying out different textures, pencils, colours that I wouldn't usually use in the horror comic necessarily, or just like happy things. Um, here we have some leaves. I was doodling this with like Posca pens and those tiger markers that I reviewed and here I used a Posca and it's just spilled everywhere and I was like, ah, thanks for that Posca, thank you so much. And yeah, I was just doing patterns and I really liked the way that turned out. I used this pattern a bit in my map video, if you've seen that. Here I was swatching those tiger markers. I also received a box of Prismacolor pencils, I believe they're called, but that was not by my voice. And I was just doodling a woman just to see how they blended. So I used this sort of as my swatchy kind of experimental page, if that makes sense. This is my tiger markers video. If you've seen that, then you will have seen this drawing on the back it looks quite cute as well i quite like the way it went through the page is very clear um this is was i don't know what this was because i started doing it and i was like what the heck is this i was trying to draw myself and do like a little thank you postcard for everybody who backed the kickstarter and then i just i got stressed out and i didn't do it so i'm sorry that there weren't any like thank you stuff in your packages everybody who supported me but i hope that you can understand that Sometimes stress gets the better of us, and yeah. This was for my book video where I, cover, I paint over books with film covers, and I just did a little um, quick sketch here. I've got the name for sketch, that's, you know, that's a good sign, isn't it? Uh, here is the worst art blocky page ever. I was feeling pretty blue, and I don't know why, and I hurt my thumb, and I wanted sushi, but we couldn't get sushi, because I always, I'm in always a constant state of just wanting sushi, and it's expensive, so, you know, that's not gonna work out for me. And I'm a sweet potato, apparently. I am a sweet potatoes. Potates. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, so we'll just breeze on past that page, shall we? Here are some horse studies that just didn't work out for me. I thought, yeah, I want to draw horses. I can I can draw horses. That's gonna that's gonna work. And they just and uh, nope. No, don't don't look at that. You're staring into your soul. Uh yeah, and some random doodles. Just you know what I do is like I just like to draw girls and I think that's apparent on this channel and I, I, I'm not apologizing for it. Oh god, here is another one of those awful pages. I promise it gets a little bit better, I think, before it gets worse again. But here is that, you know, that blob challenge, you know, when you're feeling a bit art blocky and you just block down colors. <laughs> what is, oh, okay. Um, you just block down colors and you kind of just do face, well, you're supposed to make a drawing, but apparently I just went with faces, which, you know, really creative. And we'll breeze and pass that as well. 
This was just trying to work with textures. I, I, I think you could see that I was going through a bit of a tough time after not having um, the horror comic to work on. And me and Chris went out for food in Spain and I asked for a Coca-Cola light, which is a Diet Coke in Spanish. I know it's a bit, sounds a bit bizarre, but I asked for that and she came back with normal Coke and I was like, uh, excuse me, I've asked. And she was like, next time you have to say light, and, like took it away, like stole off. I was like, but I did say it, you, you made a mistake. And I'm such a little timid bee. I could have been like, yo, you did it, but I'm too, I'm too polite, I guess. Uh, another tiger, um, tiger. Another drawing with those tiger markers and I quite like her and I think the black is just an ink pen, pencil ink pen. Again, another bizarre page of like what, how do you draw, I can't draw anymore and art block. This was a doodle I did for a video when I was just talking about my life and I was talking about getting a job and I actually, I got two job offers and I picked one of the jobs and it was very hard to choose because they were both really good jobs and that's where I'm at so I'm hoping to keep like everything, the YouTube going as much as possible but it's going to be a bit rough so if you think like, oh, where's Steph's video today then just know that I'm a ball of stress and I'm working and it's hard, okay? Thank you. Um, this was some doodles for the first day of Inktober, which I am severely behind on, but I'm also, I don't care. Is Does that make sense to anybody? Because everyone's like, oh no, so it's just out about Inktober. I'm like, eh. I want to swear. Eh, block it. You know, absolutely block it. Because, you know, look after yourself first if you're stressed out. The whole point of it is to enjoy it and get into drawing every day. And I'm drawing every day anyway, so me. And that's my little excuse. <laughs> and I thought I would draw, because the first day was, was poison, and I thought I would do Juliet when she fake poisons herself. Um, I think she fake poisons herself, yeah. And um, the dice is at the start is um, from a song about Romeo and Juliet. And that was my Inktober. And I tried to do like this skull kind of face behind her, but it kind of just looks like weird random shapes. Why, why is that skull just shapes? Here I was just experimenting with inks because I was enjoying just playing with it instead of doing the prompts. Here is a quote from a song by Brandon Flowers and I quite like it. That's, that's that, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. guys. Here's another ink drawing. Again, I was doing lots of ink drawings, but just not to the prompts. So I didn't, I don't, I kind of don't really care as long as I'm drawing, if that makes sense. I don't really owe anybody anything. I don't think any of us owe anybody anything unless they're paying us, you know? So whatever. And here's like some orange pencil that I added just to like pop it out because I think I got those pencil, what, am, what are they? Prismacolor pencils and I just I really like them so I was like putting them on different pages. Here I was messing about with ink. We were out having a drink in, in a bar, no, in a restaurant. And I was just drawing this woman and then her friend like stared right at me and I was like, they know abort abandoned mission. And then I drew this sack of um don't know. Great eyes, aren't I? Unsubscribe right now. Look at that. That will be in your nightmares tonight. And then the next day I had my interviews. So, you know, I said I applied for two jobs. I had both interviews on the same day. So that was like the nerve wracking day from hell. And it was quite, actually the interviews obviously went well and it was, it was okay. It was better than, you know, when you have, um, what's it called? When you're like thinking about something, apprehension is worse than the actual doing of stuff. And I was in this cafe waiting for my next interview called Saccarello, so I was just doodling stuff around me. And then Inktober day two was relax, I believe. So I did some, I wanted to do a woman in a bath. I was thinking I kind of relax with like a coffee, but that doesn't make sense, does it? So I didn't draw that. I went with a bathtub, a roasted, I did a witch, which you'll see, which I did a doodle here just to like help fill up the page. So this was my first attempt and I really liked it, but then I just didn't. I thought like I can do better than that so I went again and I did it again and then I liked that and then I used the Prisma colors to kind of color it in after I posted it on my Instagram and I like some of it I wish I hadn't used that yellow and orange you see what I mean it's just like maybe if I just used blue and red it would have been nicer because I felt like she was in a dark room having a bath and here's my Inktober for Roasted. So basically she's being burned at the stake as a witch and she's like not burning. So she's like, yeah, 
fine, I'm a witch, you caught me. Now you're all gonna die. At least I like to hope that's what's gonna go down next. They're all gonna suffer somehow. Maybe not die, maybe that's a bit brutal. But then they did try to burn her alive at the stake, so, hmm. Tomato, tomato. And here I was practicing my paint technique. So this is that classic technique of uh, do a light wash and then do a darker wash and then do a darker wash, but tr painting in the negative spaces to make layers. And I really like doing that. I have a lot of fun doing that. And I think it, it came out quite nice. I quite like it. I really like using watercolors and I think sometimes I stem away from it. And then I always come back to it like, wait, I really like using watercolors. Why haven't I been constantly using watercolors? This was inked over, I think it was day three or four. I just looked at my other ones, so I should be able to count back. I think it's four. Spell, and I just wanted to do something abstract and have fun with inks, and I think, I really like the way it turned out. I think it doesn't photograph very well. It looks cooler in the sketchbook, if that makes sense. Do people agree? And that's that. I, I really liked it. It was fun doing different washes of inks. I think that's fun to do. And then I did another one, another one, another like ink experimentation, sort of using that layering effect technique, but with inks and then going over, I'm saying these are pebbles, but I don't know what they are with um, different inks. And then here I used a white Posca, which I kind of regretted because I felt like it just didn't work with the whole situation. Mm -hmm. Then I, you know, those Prismacolor pencils, I was using them here and I was just doing like different studies of pictures that I find online and I quite like the way it turned out. Here I drew her and then I was drawing at night so I used this yellow pencil and I didn't realise that it looked like that because under the light I was using it just didn't come out as anything and then I looked in the sketchbook the next day it was just a giant yellow smudge on her forehead. I was like, okay, yeah, rubbing that out as best as I can but it didn't really work out that well. Here I was experimenting with inks, I think I was like what am I doing and I just did an ink wash and that didn't work but then I did like sort of like a little city, town, street where you know have loads of little cram packed townhouses and we went to the market on Saturday and we were sitting eating before our food arrived I managed to draw this little stall and I quite, I like that the way that turned out, I like using ink washes the best I think it's very fun. Again using the pencils just doodling random pictures and stuff. I like the way that this girl turned out except her face. So if we do that, <laughs> I quite like it. <laughs> and yeah, I like I like some of these faces. Quite fun. I, I was enjoying my time there. I think when you're enjoying doing your art, it, can't, it does show. And then I drew another little uh, doodle of a girl and I don't really know what she's doing, but I just, I like the way that other girl look with this short skirt and this puffy shirt coming out, so I wanted to have a go with that. I drew a little doodle of my cat Pesto and she has no time for you. And then I was drawing Marzia, who, YouTuber. I don't know why, I just really like her style and I follow her on Instagram so I was just like, oh, I'll just doodle her and she has outfit of the days. Here is a preliminary doodle for, um, I'm doing a Sinbad poster for a local play so I was drawing out the girl of that. I can't remember the girl's name in that show, no doubt you guys do. Show in that story of Sinbad and here I drew a house because I was like, I need to do some house studies and I wanted to see how it would work with those pencils. I kind of like it and then I'm like, also like, what is that? Then Art Block returned and I don't know what this is. I was like, I'll do an envelope and then the girl is like looking at the envelope and I don't know guys, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you just have those days. I was doing some research for Sinbad poster that I'm doing. So I drew like sort of that type of ship that would happen and looked at old shows and then this person, um, Andre Hairston, this is basically his drawing but I wanted to just study it to see like the clothing and stuff, the inspiration for Sinbad that he did because I need to do that poster and I was just doodling like different characters and then I got completely sidetracked with drawing girls again because you know that's that's me, that's my life, that's what I'm about. Um, next page. <laughs> These are cute though. I was drawing pesto because I like the way that image turned out. So I was trying to see what would happen if I drew her. And then there's Kubo and Gigi as well because I couldn't leave them out. And let me tell you a story. Pesto knows how to open the front door and this is how she looks when she does it. And she's like, lets everybody out. And it happened in the middle of the night the other night. And all the cats were missing. We had to get up at like 7 a.m. to search around our building for these cats. These little shits. I mean, these little, little beep beeps. 
bee beeps that escaped. They're all fine though. Can you focus on me, camera? No. Okay, it didn't like my hand being there for some reason. Then I got a little bit obsessed, you know, the story of Ophelia and like different paintings and lots of people do photo shoots where people lying and girls lying in water and I got a little bit obsessed with that and this one I'm like what what is that I'm gonna call that my my warm-up and then these two I really like and it was fun to do again I use the layering techniques within the painting kind of and I just like it it's it was it was it turned out nice and I like the colors so yeah then I was looking again at Ophelia paintings and this is kind of unfinished a little bit but yeah that's where I'm at with that little image. I think I got a bit bored of it and sidetracked. Then I did some random, I don't know, I think I did these very quickly just, just to do something, um, get like just practice I guess. I quite like this image, I saw this image of this woman holding flowers but then I put like a heart in it and then the heart is bleeding because you know I'm such a dark twisted tormented soul and <laughs> and then this girl is wearing this really nice floofy dress and I really like that silhouette of people when they, it sounds really bizarre but I like drawing it when they're like thin there and then come out like it's a very dramatic, dramatic silhouette shape. And I think this is my last ring. It's just this girl, a bit random, just this girl sitting down. And then I have like lists and stuff in the back. I don't know why I do that in the back. And then this was a game that I played with my sister and my niece where we had a minute to draw something somebody said. I think we had less than a minute. So we just, we were like, oh, draw a painting or a bin or a cat man i don't know i don't remember plane we just that was fun anyway um and there's nothing in this pocket because last time i had loads of stuff in the pocket but i think anything i had in these sketchbooks i just stuck them down so there's nothing in the pocket it's all stuck in this book so that's my completed sketchbook i think this is my third or second completed sketchbook in the year and i'm pretty please do it some things i really like and other things i don't but that's the whole point of a sketchbook right there's not supposed to be this pressure of making something perfect you just have to go with what you can and draw and have fun and experiment and make mistakes because you learn from mistakes i'm a big advocate for mistakes so that's that's it that's my sketchbook and i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope that i'll be able to complete another sketchbook this year but we'll see actually when did i start this one because i know i put the date i started this sketchbook in july so four months that's pretty good for 120 pages because of the the horror comic stuff i filled it up the first bit quite quickly and then i just doodled the rest of the stuff and yeah that's it okay that's it um thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more content content Oh god, you're not gonna subscribe now, are you? Ugh, ruined it. Messed it up. Just leave. And I will see you next time, guys, hopefully. Okay, bye.